Hey guys, Jake, Jake Hoback Knives. This is the uh, first ever Hoback auction on YouTube. Um, this will be, I'll talk about it a little bit and then uh, show you the knife and everything. Um, I'm gonna put this, post this up on Instagram, so if anybody wants to uh, get in on the auction, they can comment with a price that they wanna put it on in the comment section. That's how I'll run through this. So basically, um, bidding will start at $1,000 and you'll just put in the comment Hey, I want to put in a thousand fifty, thousand twenty-five increments of twenty dollars. Keep that in mind, please. Um, I don't want the fifty cent upping thing because that's just that gets ridiculous. Um, okay, so a little history on the knife. Guess I'll show it to you. This is prototype number one of two. I'm keeping one of these. Prototype number one of the first ever Quebec automatic. Um, if you couldn't tell by the case that this came back in. Uh, I made these for Boker. Uh, they decided that they didn't want it, so it's coming up for sale. Um, they, it just didn't work for the market that they uh, wanted to push it in, so I don't know if it was just too big or whatever, they didn't tell me. But I'll give you a heads up on what this is. Um, they gave me very short notice, um, and luckily I was able, through God's grace, to come through and spent 18 hours a day for three days in the shop and managed to get two prototypes finished and working and shipped one out to them in Colorado the, in which that they take to, took to Germany the next day. Um, there is a lot of machine time into this, a lot of hand fitting. This is my first button lock, my first auto. Um, Turned out super cool. A lot of 3D machining, if you couldn't tell. Call it the Riddick version. Kind of reminded me of the Necromancer type stuff. I don't know if you guys follow that or not. All the 3D machining. This pocket is about 40,000 steep. So just enough to feel it, not enough to make a difference when you carry it. Same on this side. This is a lefty, just so you know. But. I carried a, a right-handed automatic for a long time and it never really made a difference and I'm a lefty so <laughs> if you righties want it, hey, it shouldn't make any difference. It's tap for left and right hand carry so that's not a big deal. The blade steel is VG10 from Teikufu Specialty Metals in Japan. Um, they're the only ones that I've been able to find that carry VG10 so it turned out pretty cool. Um, titanium 6AL4V, uh, 316th thick stock. Like I said, the blade is 155 thou thick. Um, the hardware, my custom pivots, I start out with AKS quarter inch pivots and then 3D machine the heads. The button is from uh, Knife Kits, it's the largest button they make. Um, I custom made and 3D machined the bronze phosphorus bearings that this blade rides on. Um, not something I've ever seen done before, but there are four 256 blind screws that lock a large bearing surface on each side in each frame. So if two and a half depocketing on that and then machine the inserts to drop in and then screw in. Um, it's got a knife kits, super mega torque or mega torque spring. It freaking flies. Very cool. Um, 3D machine on the blade. It's a light acid wash, no stone wash. Turned out really nice and smooth and consistent. You can see the bearings in there just a little. No, I doubt you'll be able to see that very well. See the name engraved. Proto number one, Psalm 23. Custom pocket clip. So, if this is something you're interested in, put a bid in. It's going towards a good cause. We're buying a couple new grinders and paying off the mill so that we can uh, afford to bring you guys some more stuff. And recouping my costs for having to take three days off of normal production to be able to produce these for whatever reason. Um, but it worked out to the to really well. Um, show it off to the second prototype. This one will probably never leave my pocket. Um, similar, I need to finish it still. Honestly, I haven't had a chance to sandblast the screws or anything like that. Um, same thing. Full of grit now at this point because I use the crap out of everything that I own. But it's available. Like I said, opening bid starts at $1,000. 
It's a four inch blade, uh, four and a half inch handle. Show you the action a few more times. Perfect centering, clean jimping, and lightning fast. 3 16th stop pin. Let me back up a little bit here. Really got to hold on to it. The winner will need to contact me by email. Um, this will start today. That is as soon as I get this video uploaded, which will probably take a while. Um, but it is Friday the 11th. Okay, this is when the opening bid starts. Um, bidding will close on Sunday at 5 p.m. That's Sunday the 13th of October at 5 p.m. is when bidding stops. Like I said, bid at the bottom of the comment section. Instagrammers, you need to come on here and bid in the comment section as well. Um, I'll post this up on Facebook, Instagram, and everything to let everybody know. Tell your friends, tell your family, anybody that could be interested in this. Um, you have to be 18 years old or older to purchase this knife, and you need to contact me by email at jakehobackknives at yahoo.com for the winner and I will let everybody know the winner and I will announce it in the comments section. I'll also do another video and let everybody know. Uh, I think that's about it. Sorry for the ramble. Um, if I need to add anything, I will add it here in just a second. I'll think it over.